everyone. Welcome to Painting with Liz. Today we are going to paint a winter scene of a cardinal sitting on a branch covered in snow. We're going to start with a number 12 flat brush, some white paint, black paint, green, and blue. We're going to begin with our white at the top. And we're going to add just a little bit of black here and there, just kind of like here and here, okay? And then grab some more of our white, and it doesn't have to be completely clean. Get some more water on there. It helps spread. Okay, get some more white, come down in here. Again, some more white. And I know you're wondering what's going on with that. We will come back to that in just a minute. Right now, we just wanna cover our canvas. I'm getting some more white on my brush and just trying to get down in the bottom here. just a little bit of my green. I just have a smidge on my brush and I just kind of want to put it here and there. And then I'm going to grab some of my blue and I'm going to do the same thing. Just a little bit, just here and there. It doesn't need to be completely covering our canvas. I'm going to grab some more of my green and I want to get some down in this area and maybe over here. Yeah, I think that looks good. And I'm gonna get a little bit more of my blue and just put it up here. Okay, now you wanna get a mop brush. It's gonna look like this, it's really soft. This is called a mop brush. If you don't have this, you can try and use the brush that we were just using, but you wanna start in our light areas and just blend it around. That's what we're doing. It's just blending these colors. Into the background. I really wish I had used more white in that area. And what I might do, actually, is get some white on my mop brush. And just do some there, there, and then kind of down in this area. I'm gonna use my left hand for a minute. Okay, so we just have something simple going on here. Um, I do think that I wanna add a little bit more black in a couple of spaces. And I'm gonna get it on my number 12 flat brush again. And I'm just gonna kind of dab it on here in a couple of spots. And this is kind of like our, our far away trees in the background that you can't really get a clear focus on. Um, we've got trees back there, we've got snow, so that's what that's about. Maybe add a little bit of white 
here and there as well. Okay. I think let me clean off my brush for just a second. I think that's not bad. I might want to go back in though and just add a little bit more white up in there and blend that in just so it's not so choppy. off my brush again and I'm just going to very gently pat those areas just so they soften up just a smidge there I kind of like that that's good all right so I'm cleaning off that brush and now what I want and I'm going to dry it off a little bit too now what you should do is get some red onto your palette and get some yellow. Yeah, I know that's running. <laughs> Look, see, we just do like that. And it actually adds a little bit of character. So I'm not as picky as some people might be when it comes to things like that. Sometimes I think it's meant to be. We'll add a little bit of yellow. And now what we're gonna do is take our red and yellow and kind of mix those together. I'm just mixing them over here. And we get this orangey color. And then we're gonna add some blue to that. See, we're getting kind of a, a brown color. I want it to go a little bit darker, so I'm gonna add some black, actually. Maybe add a little bit more red in there. Okay. So that's gonna be our wooden branch. And we're just gonna start on this side and you're just gonna drag it across. I have too much water on my brush. Just drag it across. And I am going to wipe up that mistake. Okay, and you see how it has some of these streaks in there? That's actually good because it starts to give that wood peel. You'll see what I'm talking about in just a minute. So we're gonna put a little bit, and I do mean a little bit of black on our brush. And then we're just going to, and I'm gonna try and use my left hand if I can so you can see better, just kind of here and there, just do some lines maybe coming down as if it's you know, darkening. And I know you're probably thinking, what the heck is she doing? Just, and then go across in some spaces. Let me get some more there. So is it snowing where you are? It hasn't snowed here yet. I'm kind of glad. I'm not. 
not a fan of the cold. I think it's pretty to look at, but I'm not a huge fan of uh, cold weather. <laughs> so, um, what we can also do is maybe go, actually I want to go a little bit thicker on this side as if it's getting bigger. Maybe do the same down here. Yeah, now we need to go back in and add some more black. And the reason we're adding a lot of the black down here is because that is our um, a little bit of our shadow under the branch. It's also giving it a little bit of character. And all I'm doing is just kind of dabbing it and then just blending it a smidge. And I still like the black lines right in there still. Okay. Alright. I'm going to wash off my brush. We're not going to use it again that I know of, except I might do a little touch up myself in just a second <laughs> on that area. Yeah, give me just one second, guys. I just want to fix that up. Okay. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to draw a cardinal. If you are not comfortable freehanding this, I will have included a um, link to a template or a traceable down in the description that you can click on and print it out and then you can use it from there. Okay, so I'm going to use a dagger brush for this. I think that might be the best one. This is a dagger brush. It just means that it's kind of angled like this. Um, this is a number eight. It might be better to use a smaller one, but this is what I have in my hand, so I'm going to use this one. All right, I'm going to mix some red, and I'm just going to grab a little bit of yellow into it. And I'm not doing much. Um, I just don't want it to be as dark of a red. Just not quite as dark. I don't know if you can see that. And then I'm going to kind of wipe it off because I don't want it really, really, really thick. All right. And we're going to maybe start right in here. Just kind of make it a fat little cardinal. And then give him a little swoosh. That's where his little head's going to be, you know, the little hair that kind of sticks out. And that will be like the beak area. And then come back down. Just like that. I might want to actually come in here a little bit. And maybe not quite as round. Okay. So let's get that little hair plume up here. I'm going to just come in, just start covering that into some red. And as you can see, when I paint, I've got some red, and at least I hope you can see, there's a little bit of that yellow that's coming through, and that's good. See how it's almost orangey in that area? That's good. We kind of want that. In fact, we're going to go back over this bird, and we're going to actually add some more um, yellow and orangey colors to it, just to give it that definition.
If you don't have a dagger brush, a good brush for this would be maybe a filbert brush. Um, or you could, I mean, if you could, you could use a flat brush. If you don't know what a filbert brush is, I will show you. It's the rounded tip. Can you see that? Okay. Okay. All right, that's a little bit of that. Now, um, I'm gonna let this dry before we move on to the beak and the black portion of its face and its eye and that kind of thing. I just wanna let it kind of dry a little bit and then actually I wanna add a smidge right there and that will be as if it's getting ready to do its tail. Okay, all right, so I'm gonna let that sit. And now let's move on to our snow. I'm just washing off my dagger brush really quick just so that it's ready for me later okay um, for this one I would suggest using a number four maybe a flat brush or even a round pouncing brush um, I'm going to go ahead and get some more white paint on my palette pouncing brush or a stipple brush if you're wondering is like this it's round and it's you know for doing that but I'm going to use my number four flat brush this is my flat brush it's just this one's a little bit worn which is why I'm picking this so it's not perfectly neat um, if you use a neat one that's fine but let's see I might want to add like a branch should we add a branch we can do that in just a minute. Let's do that. We'll start over here, and you're just gonna put some white. Don't be afraid to do that. Just put some on there. Maybe even have some that's, you know, really built up. Some that maybe comes in a thin area. And yes, we do need to go to our bird, guys, okay? We can stop midway if you want until we get the coloring good. So we can stop and then come back in a minute, but we still wanna do this. And even if we are adding a branch, you gotta think if the branch is sticking out, the snow will land on that branch, but it will also land on this one, okay? this somewhat thick um, I'm giving it texture when I do this because I'm you know using this portion of my brush with the, the bristles so if you whenever it comes and it's done you can touch it you can feel it that's kind of what we want all right let's maybe make that a little bit more softened up here just a little bit and then add some texture same thing I'm just gonna actually add more there because I can see the brown showing through so I'm gonna add it thick right there okay and since I've got this I want to add a little bit more white into the area in the background so I'm just gonna do a little bit of this and then just 
gently brush it out just a little bit here and there. We're not making clouds. If you want to make clouds, go for it. This is your painting. This is your creation. I want you to enjoy what you're making. I am just going through and just trying to add a little bit of white more in the background as if there's snow on distant areas. Um, I didn't feel like there was enough, so I'm just trying to Do a little bit here and there. Plus, this gives more time for this to dry. And I love when it gets dry and it gets hard like that, and you try and you know brush it. It uh, has that dry sound. I actually really like that. It's one thing that is not, you know, very common when working with oils. Um, these are acrylics, and this is so much easier sometimes um, because they dry so quickly. So if you want something to dry and then you can work back over it, it just, I really like how it does that. With oils, they stay wet for weeks, sometimes even months, and you have to wait before you move on or you risk messing something up and it turning to mud or even putting your arm in it. Guilty of doing that many times. Um, okay. Just a little rush of that there. You know what might be good though, instead of like a full, all right, I'm gonna use my filbert brush again, or not filbert brush, you could use filbert brush, but I'm gonna use my dagger brush again. And that's what it looks like. And I'm gonna make a couple of little, maybe branches coming out, maybe, yeah. Okay, so let's hope we have some brown that's still wet. If not, you can always make it again. Mix some red, mix some yellow, mix a little bit of blue, and if you want it darker, mix a little bit of black. Mine, luckily, once I added some water, it kind of softened right up and it was good to go. So, I'm just going to, maybe I'll do one here. And then we wanna make sure that that blends in as if it belongs. So when you do that, you don't want it just breaking off. You want to make sure that you kind of blend it into what was already here so that it has that base that it's coming off. And maybe, um, hmm, should we stop there, guys? Should we do another one maybe off to this side here or even want a bigger one here, bigger one there? I don't know, y'all tell me, what, what would y'all like? This is your art. So I think I'm going to stop there. I kind of like that. And um, yeah, I like that. And I might go in and add a little bit of snow on that edge. But you can make it however you want. You can leave it the single branch. You could have a bunch of twigs coming off if you want. You could have a bigger one coming across and maybe have your bird up here make it however you want. So I'm gonna go back to, um, actually, I think because we have such a small thing here, I might end up using a smaller brush to put snow on that. But our bird is not quite done, almost done. I think we might be able to work with it a little bit. So I'm going to take a, well, this is, a, um, a small round brush. You could use like a zero if you want. Um, I'm going to get some black and just put a little bit on my brush. You don't want a lot. Let's see. Okay. And I'm 
gonna do it maybe here my brush will actually touch the canvas let's see we'll do a circle here and then we're gonna come from here out to going up there and then coming down this way kind of give it a little kick out and then come this way and then go up that direction so we've got a little bit of the area over here actually I might want to close that in a little bit more okay this is our eye here and then this is all of that black okay space that the bird has so I'm gonna just paint that in Don't worry, we are going to be adding the beak, okay? All right, for the bird, oh, also I'm gonna take a little bit of this and just kind of do a little bit in here. Just a little bit. That was too much, but it we can cover it with snow. Let me wipe some of the black off. I don't want a lot. In fact, I almost want it completely empty. And I just want to add a little bit there. I don't know if you can see that it's just darkening that red a little bit. My brush is pretty much empty of paint. I just want to get this area just a little dark as if there's change in color and as if there's a wing back here with some feathers. And then we will draw some feet in just a minute. Okay, so just like that. And let's see. I want to add just a smidge of blue. I have the smallest amount of blue on my my thing and I'm going to go over top of this eye just to add a little bit of a different color. It still looks black but it, it still has like a, I don't know, a, a different sheen to it. If you were looking at it in person you would be able to see. Let me turn my phone on silent. Okay, yeah, there. I'm gonna wet my brush again. And we're still using that number zero. And now, let's see, is that, no, nope, maybe we should come back to that one. <laughs> All right, let's work on the actual bird. So I'm gonna go to my filbert brush. This is a number four. And I want to get some yellow and a little bit of red. See, I'm still using the same palette. I'm just getting some yellow and a little bit of red on there, making it a little orange. And I might add a smidge of white to brighten it up some. Okay. And I'm gonna start in this area. This is not going all the way to that dark line we just made. It's going right next to it. And we're just blending it upwards. Just giving our bird a little bit of color. And you just wanna blend it in. Okay, and then we'll do the same thing on the other side.
in fact, if you move it on, I'm going to add a little bit more red over there. I'm not quite fond of how orangey that is. There we go. That's better. Okay. And we're going to do that some more in the middle. And then we're going to add a little bit of the white with the red. Get that going. But not so much that it becomes pink, okay? You don't want it pink. In fact, I'm taking a little bit of our orange and mixing it with the wet. was starting to turn pink because I really, really, really don't want it pink, okay? Um, maybe more red. Okay. This is when you need one of those vibrant, vibrant, vibrant colors. But we don't have this. So I'm just going to kind of brush it in right in here. This is just giving it some character. And we're going to bring it up. And I'm going to go back over because my brush had a little bit of white and just hit those areas with a little bit more red. Okay. And then we want to go back up here with some of that red just to give it a little bit more vibrance. Careful not to get into the black. Okay. Let me get a little bit of water on my brush. We're going to go back to our small number zero brush and we're going to test. That's not that bad. The first thing we want to do actually is use some white because when you want to try and put the orange over the black, it's not going to want to show very well. But by putting white first, it lightens that area. So we're going to come up into this area. You want to go almost to the very, very edge. And then just come out. And then come over into here. And then we're gonna kinda go like this. And then up that way. I don't know if you can really see, and I should have made it a little bit more pointy. This brush is a little too big for what I want to do, so I'm just going to go out some more. Let's see. Okay. That's okay. All right. And yeah, let me. All right. We're going to go to that yellow and red mix for the orange. And I'm just getting some red and going to my yellow and just mixing it in until I find the color that I'm wanting. I might need to get some of this way off. There we go. 
Okay, I think that's not bad. All right. The white's not fully done. Maybe I should just wait. Yep. All right, I'm gonna set that brush aside, guys. Let's get our um, our number four flat brush while that's drying. We're gonna grab some more white onto this brush, and we're gonna go ahead and put it around the base of our bird because our bird is sitting on the snowy branch. Um, let's add a little bit more maybe in this area just make it look a little thickerish I made that word up and kind of come up in the bird maybe there was a big mound there the bird sat on okay Now let's see, it's not bad. It's still a little wet, but we've got our brush loaded with some paint, so yeah. We're gonna go over that white. Let's make our peak. Do y'all see? Okay. I'm going to rinse that off. And now I'm going to use just the very, very, very tip of this brush and I'm going to dip it very, very, very lightly into some white paint. So I have the smallest amount and this might even be too big. We'll have to see. Might need to make that bird's eye a little bit bigger. And we're just... I'm going to rest my hand barely touch. Mm. It's not quite what I wanted. Okay. It's a little bit bigger than I would have preferred, but um, I'm trying my best with this brush that I have. And then I might get a little bit more black because I really think that I should be a smidge bigger. if you are happy with your eye, then you can just keep it the way it is. There we go. Okay, now um, I want to add almost some kind of fluff to this bird. Just a little bit of fluff. Um, let's get let's get some of that red and yellow again. I'm using my number zero round brush and I'm just gonna put some on my brush and then I'm gonna kind of come in here and just do a couple of little swooshes so to speak just a couple of little swooshes like that and then we'll go this way for this one over here. I don't know if you can see that or not. I hope you can. I just made that a little bit smaller. Okay, and then we're gonna take that little bit of black on our brush and you just wanna give it the smallest, smallest amount right in there. I don't know if it's... There, just a smidge.
And then I'm going to take a little bit of red. And the thing, the reason we did the bird's beak like this is because actually there is a curve up under. So I'm just adding a smidge little curve like that. And then I'm going to take the rest of what's on my brush, which is a little bit of red, and just gently color in this top portion. And then you can try and draw the beak coming, you know, the separation right there. Okay. And then I want to add a little bit of yellow mixed with some white, just a little bit. You don't want a lot. Like the smallest amount. And you just want to go to the tip area and brush it back. Okay? All right, now Let's see if that is dry. Not entirely, but we will make it work. All right, so continuing using that small round brush, we're gonna dip it in some black paint, and then we're gonna draw some little, some little feet right in here. just a little bit and if you don't like it you don't have to do it and then we're gonna add a little bit of shading under our bird this is just some shading on the snow just a little bit on the snow and on the bird itself as if it's just you know casting a shadow okay And I still want to come with that black still on our brush. And I really do want to give this something still. So I'm just smearing. It's really nothing on it. Just smearing it just a little bit. And then I'll come up here to just give a little right in there. And maybe right above, right in here, just a little bit. Okay. I got a smidge right there, so I wanted to clean that off. Here we go. And actually, I'm going to mix a little bit of white myself and a little bit of black to get that gray. And I'm going to color in this little flip out that I accidentally made. There. The other leg is kind of tucked up under the snow. That's why there's only one. If you don't want it, again, you can just simply take the white paint and just put it on top just like that okay if you want to add something else for a little bit of character you could always add another branch coming out but let's not forget this one let's see if it's dry yeah it's pretty dry so I'm still going to use that small round brush and I'm going to add a little bit of white paint onto it and then I'm going to come down here and just a little bit. On top of it. And you just want a little bit. You don't want it like piled up. The tree will branch, I mean the little twig will snap. Okay? So just a little bit. And then, if you want, you could flick 
some snow on there or you can individually, you know, press little dots here and there. Just something simple like that. Okay? All right, guys. That's it. It's a very, very, very simple picture of a branch with a cardinal. It doesn't have to be so detailed or uh, elaborate. It's just something simple and cute. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.